our fourth and final day in Cape Town. We are back at the V&A waterfront to finally go on the tour of Robin Island. This is a tour that we've always wanted to do. It's such a big part of South African history. It's quarter to ten, it took about half an hour to get here, but we're finally here. It's taking a while to disembark, I think they're doing road by road. So excited to get onto Robin Island. Welcome to Robin Island. Yeah, that ferry ride was comfortable, the sea was nice. I didn't know Robin Island was so big. You see from a distance, it looks a lot smaller than up close. We weren't able to sit next to each other. They made everyone sit with a space in between. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Robin Island Museum, a World Heritage Site, I'd like to welcome you to the island. Please proceed to the buses parked at the far end of the quay, where you'll be met by your tour guides. These are the very last prisoners to leave this prison. Here, prisoners were very happy to be free. Two towers in that direction. All those towers were always manned by heavily armed That's where I spent my seven year sentence. Please follow me. Our tour guide was actually in prison here for seven years himself and that was his bed. He got released in 1991 and I was actually in primary school then. So this is really, really insane. He said that the prisoners got two blankets only and before these beds came, they had these little mats to sleep on on the floor. Walking into B section now. is totally totally worth it the tour was split in two so the first half we did a walking tour through all the different blocks and obviously we ended with the B block where Nelson Mandela was held I think from 1964 to 1982 or something like that then we all got onto a bus and now they're taking us around the island where there's actually a Robert Island village that actually have ex-prisoners who are now tour guides and ex-wardens all living in this village and our tour guide was saying they're all even on the same whatsapp group who would have thought it back then that things would change so much like it's such a crazy history but i guess it brings us where we are today and thanks to them we can live in a free country 
and Table Mountain played a significant role to those freedom fighters who were kept here. It was such a tantalizing reminder for freedom. They always looked up to Table Mountain and it gave them that hope. Well, we're at a viewpoint at the moment and I just can't believe such crazy things happened on this beautiful, beautiful island. Like the waves are breaking behind me. We can see Table Mountain from here. There's a little shop here also and we're gonna get back on the bus just now and they're gonna take us back to the harbor. So totally, totally worth it. Make your way straight down to the ferry as it is now departure time. Thank you. Time to catch the ferry back to Cape Town to the waterfront. How was that uh, trip? It was amazing and I would highly recommend that you do it. We had a super amazing tour of Robin Island and we actually wanted to do that yesterday but it was such bad weather so instead of doing that yesterday we went to the castle so we're just gonna jump to that now we are back on the previous day where we couldn't go on the ferry to Robin Island and instead we're here at the castle in Cape Town neither of us have been here before so we're not too sure what to expect but who doesn't want to see a castle? <laughs> Let's go! Is anybody else afraid of the dark? a very very dark room here at the castle and he closed the door he switched off the lights for like half a, half a minute it was so hectic <laughs> This is the dolphin pool, also the private quarters of Simon van der Stel. The tour is finished and we're just exploring the rest of this fort and we're finding these random little rooms. We don't really know what it was used for, but I can't even imagine what it was like back in the day. It's so cool. Check, there's like a pool type thing in the middle of this room. But this is a, just a picture of the fort, and this is the ocean. It came right up to the walls. It's actually crazy. The Castle of Good Hope was a really nice tour to do. We're so happy we did it. And we're just on the outside now. You can see it's surrounded by a moat, which is really cool. But we're back to the day where we went to Robin Island and we just came through to Charlie's Bakery. This is like such a famous bakery in our country and we have been dying to come here for cupcakes. <laughs> so let's go. This is 
my poop cupcake. It looks like the poop emoji. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for it. And we just had our amazing cupcakes, which will give us enough energy for the next leg of our trip. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed this episode of our road trip series we don't normally do a lot of history tours and stuff but after this one i think we should it was really really interesting so if you liked it and you want to join the rest of our adventures please hit the subscribe button and like and comment We are at the VNA waterfront. It's attention, please. The bridge will be open for shipping now <laughs> for your personal safety. We are in the Cape Wine country in South Africa and we are taking a wine tram. So, we're about to hop on the tram for the next two wine farms. So I decided to come down to the cellar and check out all these barrels. <laughs> 